The IV tests in Gran Turismo 4 are no joke. But don't worry, in this video, I'll show you how you can gold all of the IV license tests in the game. And if one of these tests helped you, be sure to like and subscribe, and let me know down in the comments which one I was able to help you with. Let's begin. In IB1, stick to the left before the hairpin, turn in after passing the 50 board, and approach to hit a double apex. Slam the brakes after touching the middle of the track, and don't release until you're confident you can power out to your next apex. Keep the car as straight as possible to avoid the TCS and finish the test. To start IB2, stick to the right heading into the first turn. Be sure not to lift or lose speed when taking the turn. Get over to the left before the next braking point, which will be in between this sign and the inside curb. Turn in after passing the sign, but don't aim for the apex too early. Power out to hit the outside curb and keep a clean line all the way to the finish. In IB3, slowly move to the middle of the track before turning in after losing sight of this sign. Minimize any scrubbing or TCS while turning and finish as far right on the track as you can. Break after making contact with the tread line and aim for the inside. You'll want to enter early and power out wide until you'll eventually place yourself here for the last turn of spoon. Keep turning in and gently swing around the turn until you can power out to the outside curb. Now just keep it straight till you finish the test. Get on the pavement to start IB4 and turn in to barely miss the off-track limit. Gently rotate through the long right-hander before getting back on the power comfortably to exit the tunnel on this curb. Hug the inside before cutting the track on the next turn, then quickly turning back in to hit the next apex. Utilize braking and coasting downhill to end as wide as you can at this point before aiming for your next apex. Repeat that same process for this corner and stay on your right to finish the test. IB5 can get a little dicey, so don't try to push too much. You don't need to be perfect to gold this one. Follow the pace car to the first hairpin. Brake just before passing this street lamp and turn in after passing the next. Don't get back on the power till about halfway through the turn and follow the pace car on exit. Upshift in the air and continue down the straight. Approach the next turn wide and brake after passing the palm tree shadow. Aim to take a V-shaped line to reduce the time the TCS is active. Follow the same process heading into the next hairpin this time breaking at the moment the track opens up here. Again, make sure to keep behind the pace car before finishing off the uphill hairpin section. After the crest, turn in at the thinnest part of the shadow and break at the thickest. Gently swing around the corner and aim to still exit wide before the next section. Slowly make your way to the center before breaking to give yourself a straighter exit line through the rest of the long turn. Don't be afraid to ease off the throttle to keep your line and pace as consistent as possible. Now follow the pace car through the top of the track. For the next three turns, utilize brake and throttle control to aim for as late of an apex as possible before swinging into the next. Afterwards, get to your left before braking at the end of this shadow. Hug the inside, and don't start powering out until after this yellow banner. Exit as straight as possible before maintaining a comfortable distance with the pace car, even giving him a few love taps while you're at it. Be sure to start slowing down before reaching the bottom of the hill and enter the turn as wide as possible. Hit the apex and carry through to the outside, slipping back into the pace car's line. Aim for late apexes for the next two bends, but be careful and watch for the cones on the second. After getting back behind the pace car, break after entering the shadow and before the end of the stone wall on your left. Take an out-in-out approach and head down the final section. Here, you'll repeat the same technique, breaking at the start of the yellow awning. And for the next turn, break before passing the Michelin banner. 
Now, for the last time of the test, follow the pace car and cross the line. For IB6, aim for late apexes as you slalom through each row of cones. Charge through on the accelerator until you hit 70 miles per hour. Try to stay between 70 to 75 miles per hour until you get to the last three cones. Put the throttle down until you complete the test. In IB7, avoid spinning the wheels too much at the start before carrying on with the test. Utilize the same techniques from the last test, but be more mindful of the car's turning ability. It's slightly less responsive now, so you'll need to just be a hair quicker with your reactions. Maintain a consistent chain of late apexes and finish the test. Start IB8 moving left and begin braking after passing this solid white line. Turn in and aim for the inside of the barrier and not the curb before powering out after passing it. Get back to the right to set up for the next corner. Brake and turn after reaching this curb. Now power out so you can still get back to the left before the next turn. Turn in, then gently brake after reaching the end of this shadow, aiming for the inside of the barrier once more. You can power out pretty early here since the exit is really wide. Avoid hitting the barrier and swing back to the right before the final section. Turn after passing the last arrow sign and brake when this sign touches the edge of the screen. Try to enter wider into this turn to hit a later apex for the next. Turn and brake after passing over the curve to hit another late apex. Swing back hard to nail this apex on the barrier, powering through the whole turn to exit fast and wide and reach the finish line. Start IB9 by getting as close to the arch as you can and brake before the change in track surface. Try and trail brake your way through this bend before powering out at the latest apex. Hug the right wall and brake before reaching this bright part of the track. Make sure to hug the inside to take the turn optimally. Cut the corner and brake to power out to the middle of the track. And upshift to third when hitting the next apex after. Keep on the power and finish the test. The MGF in IB10 has some ridiculous oversteer, so be cautious when releasing the brake and getting on the throttle when turning. Get to the left at the start and turn in to mirror the curb's path and brake just before it goes off screen. Gently get back on the throttle to power out wide and follow behind the pace car. Aim to turn in before this street lamp and quickly stab the brakes before reaching the next. Try to stabilize after exiting wide before the next section. Brake at this street lamp for a short time before swinging through the next two turns, aiming to exit as close to this barrier and getting over to the right before the corner. Brake before reaching the 50 board and turn in to not take too much of the curb and destabilize the car. Exit wide and swing back to the left. After getting on the striped curb, brake to power out just before hitting the apex. Now follow the pace car down the street and up the incline before braking around the 80 meter mark. Stay in second gear and don't be afraid to exit on the curb for maximum speed. Turn in at the 50 board and brake shortly after. Don't be afraid to power out early for the exit before falling back in line with the pace car. Brake at the 55 meter mark before turning in at the tread line and cutting the curb. Power out to avoid slipping and follow the pace car again. Brake and turn at the 50 board to swing around the corner and get to the left. You'll want to brake and turn to hit the latest apex possible. Then you'll play with the throttle only to hit this last apex, power out wide, and follow the pace car down to the finish line. Immediately upshift in IB11 to start the test. Try to move to the right and upshift in the middle of the second jump. Brake and turn after passing the Michelin banner. Try to get a lot of angle to slide through this turn and then get the power down through most of it. Brake and swing right entering the next turn, reproducing the same technique from the first turn to finish this test. In IB12, aim for late apexes before ending on the right to approach the hairpin. Brake and turn to swing into the inside, but gently apply the throttle to keep yourself on the line you want. 
move back to the outside and redo the last turn here, swinging right and longer than before. Move to the right and swing in early while keeping the throttle down and finish the test. Start IB13, aiming to swing at this curb, then braking before this shadow. Power out to just hit the apex on the next turn, and aim to stay on the inside going up the hill. Drive as straight as possible on this curb before cutting the next turn over the crest. Then stab the brakes at the end of this shadow, and power out to swing into the outside curb, hugging it all the way down to the finish. In IB14, keep to the right to start. Watch for this sharp point in the track and turn in. Take it flat out and swing back to the left for the next turn. Brake just as soon as the house on the right or the trees on the left make contact with the edge of the screen. Aim to slightly overshoot the initial apex to take a straighter line when hitting the next apex. Remember to use your upshift to get some extra rotation and pass through the tunnel on your right. At the exit of the tunnel, Aim to place your right side tires on the solid white line at the apex. The uphill banking will suck you into the corner, so be careful of the sudden rotation. Point the car just to the inside of the trees on the right before passing the crest, and try to stabilize the car after landing, aiming for the inside of the cliff face. Brake in turn to avoid wiping out on the outside and quickly rejoin the right side of the track. Turn in to hit the latest apex possible and just be confident with the exit. You can even hit the wall decently hard and still pass this test. Start IB15 by slowly getting on the throttle to reduce your wheel spin. Upshift at 30 miles per hour, then follow the pace car to the first proper turn. From the outside, turn in where the track goes left and brake when you touch the inside shadows. Stay to your right before turning in at the shadow and braking in the middle of the track. Aim to hit both apexes and continue on behind the pace car. Take the widest possible entry down the turn before cutting in early for the next turn and braking after passing the trees on your right. This turn will naturally push you wide, so aim to be in the middle of the track to put yourself on the outside. Then aim for a late apex, taking a smooth U-shaped line. Power out on the apex and follow the pace car. Stay just to the outside down the right-hander before getting back in the center up the straight. Brake at the white line where the track changes color before entering the tight street section. Gently enter the turn wide to keep the car stable through the rest of the section. Brake after reaching this door and stay as close to the apex as possible to the chicane. Upshift down this turn for better rotation and power down the hill behind the pace car. Brake in the middle of this rectangular shadow and aim to cut the corner past the arch. Stay in third and maintain your speed up the hill. Here, you'll want to double apex this corner and break just after passing the castral sign. And although I completely miss it, aim for the banked inside to maximize rotation and power out as early as you can before heading up the long and slow uphill section. Place yourself as wide as possible before breaking at the end of the van and turning in just before the banner, staying as close to the inside as possible. Hitting a wall here could have you lose between one to two seconds, but if you saved as much time as I did, you can still power through behind the pace car to finish the test. Lastly, for IB16, you'll once again head down this backstretch, this time breaking at the first tree shadow past the banner. Try to cut the corner after the arch and shift to second gear by the time you get back on the power. Break at the Gran Turismo banner above and aim to take a V-shaped line through the turn. Aim for the banked section inside the exit to get some more rotation, and keep your line as tight as possible through the narrow uphill street to finish the test. And that takes care of all of the license tests for the IB license. And now you can finally rip up the track in this? Huh. Well, you still have the Nike 1 2022 and the Mazda RX-8, so there's that.